all and welcome back to another wonderful Ponytown News update video. Today we have ourselves a version 0.84.5 and they have added a lot of good things and overall mostly things for UI improvements and things that are going to help you out in your daily life in Ponytown. So starting off on the list we have added last seen time on friends list and also added displaying friend count in the friends list. They also added displaying party member count and party options and you also have pattern preview colors labels to character editor and things like that added background with body color to bookmark editor added showing online status along with in menu statted st statted status <laughs> they also changed in menu status to not appear when away they improved receiving egg baskets from other players, improved re Russian localization, and a bunch of other fixes and optimizations and stuff like that. We're not we're not here to talk about fixes unless it's a really funny fix. But starting off, we have the character editor. So if we come over here, you can see now that it has color one, color two, color three, and there's a little color next to it. Now that color directly correlates with the actual pattern. So we have this big striped thing here. That's how I do Skella's cuffs. I use the body pattern instead of the socks and stuff like that uh, for, for a couple of reasons but we don't have to get into that for now if you do anything with patterns if you do uh, legs with patterns if you do like a body with patterns anything that has to do with patterns you would get this list of colors and they will correlate with what's on this icon right here and kind of to some degree to this right here but it's the default colors so we can see that this is a light blue that means it's going to change this part of the neck so let's go ahead and test that theory it's going to, going to change this part of the neck right here let's test that theory boom it's white now and it is indeed white over there as well so you can see how if I take this dark blue which is this tiny little part right here tiny little part right there I can make that red or black or or whatever color I want to and you can see that it is indeed changing so it is indeed the eighth color which is this color here this helps you kind of determine like where the colors are and you don't have to sit here be like okay which which what what, what am I going to change when I change the color to this you don't have to come in here and kind of test out what what the color is changing to sort of figure this out but they also change the butt mark so if we actually scroll back down here to the butt mark you can see how by default if I if I come up here real quick let's revert scalar real quick in case I break something if I make a new character and then scroll down here I haven't done anything yet you can see how this is red but it's also transparent this is to show like what it's going to look like when it's on your body that way you can kind of see like a preview of it and stuff like that it also in, in a way kind of looks a little bit better than the weird transparent thing that we had before it's just basically just a tiny little improvement a tiny little bit of a change I guess you could call it a bad improvement but that is totally up to you and your opinions and stuff like that I personally think it's a nice little addition to the game but it still works totally fine it still works like a normal kitty mark you can still do all the the the, the the controls and do all the things like you could before look at this these colors remind me of mcdonald's so let's do let's do the the mcdonald's logo shall we boom mcdonald's it's the mcdonald's pony <laughs> Uh, so uh, there you have it that's what the changes are on this side of things but if we actually go to the game itself and then click on our friends list you can see how the friends list has also changed so if we click the friends list it's in the top right corner by the way you can see how I have used 400 and uh, not 400 I've used 48 of 200 of my friend slots which means I can have uh, almost 150 152 more friends before my friends list becomes full uh, that is not the only thing that changed. You can also hover over things like this. It says the friend is currently offline. If we find someone down here real quick, here's someone, this fa fall staff person. Oh, and here, look, here's Damien. They were seen Saturday, April 10th, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. <laughs> it's very... <laughs> It's very, very specific. Um, it's almost scary how specific it is. But for the most part, a lot of the people that you see in your friends list, at least right now, if they haven't been online since the update, it's going to say offline and it's going to say the friend is currently offline. And that's going to be the way forever until the person comes online again. Uh, it, it, it takes until that person comes online after this update for you to actually see when the last time they were online was. Now, if you set yourself to offline before you get in the game or if you do some offline stuff like that, and then you will still be able to be seen offline, but you will also still have the tag last seen online at this specific time. So if you do want to come on online and be all sneaky and stuff like that, I recommend going to your your uh, your thing here. If you go to the top of your, your menu here and then press this right here in the top right, your account name, and then hit account settings or not even account settings. You hit this online status here and then hit show us offline. This way you can see, you know, that you're offline the entire time. I'm also 
reloading every single time that happens. That's a weird thing. But uh, if you set yourself offline before you get in the game, this will help you kind of be more of a spy and stuff like that. Because if you come on here and then set yourself offline, then it's going to show that you were online like two minutes ago. And that's going to be really suspicious. It's going to be like, haha, but you were online. You most likely set yourself to offline. So that's a, a little bit of a tip for all the spies out there, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. There's improvements to party and things like that, but unfortunately, I'm not in a party. So uh, maybe if I go, maybe if I go here real quick and and boop someone to join a party, we can see we can see the the the, the thing or something like that. Just boop a random person, boom, boop boop for fresh fashion roulette. We'll we'll join this party, and you can see the new additions uh, to the thing. We're gonna boop, we're gonna boop both of these people until one of them invite me. Who who will invite me first? One of them invited me first. <laughs> of course this one invited me first. So if I accept the party, you can see how the little party icon is there. You also see party options, which allows you to change the party options and things like that. And you can also, of course, see all of your slots and things like that. Also, I clicked that and nothing happened. But you have your party options there now. Um, you have your uh, four of 30 slots. So we can see that there is indeed four people in this party. Obviously one, two, three, and then me is the fourth one. So that's how you can see how many people are in your party and how many people you're allowed to have in your party in total. Uh, I believe the number does change based on supporter, but I could be completely wrong about that. So uh, you can see how this, this specific person can have 30 people in their party. There's four people in there, which means they can have 26. This way you never have to, you know, think of it in your head like, oh man, how many more people can I invite? This is going to be really helpful for me or anyone else that wants to stream and invite a bunch of people to the party because they're going to notice that like, hey, I can only get two more people. So who's it going to be? Do this thing and yada, 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 blah, 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 things like that. So uh, that is that is pretty much all there is to the changes. Like I said, it's not a big change. The only other change that I can't really show you because it has to do with like how other people see my status. Like for example, if I send myself to uh, away or this or that or whatever weird things happen yada 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 i can't really show that because i can't show you you know two perspectives basically so uh yeah that's pretty much it those are the changes i think they are really good additions to the change also for some reason every single time i time i tab and then tab back in it, it seems to do it like a weird loading thing i'm not sure but um yeah that is it for the changes uh i do hope that you enjoyed and if you did please do consider liking subscribing sharing and doing all those wonderful things like that because when you do those wonderful things not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this but you also get to become wonderful yourself and i think we all want that so do those wonderful things and until next time Stay wonderful. Gonna get my banana. Oh no, I missed it by one. Let me hold shift. Haha, <laughs> fun tip for you.